being here in core unit actually transformed my, my whole life. At Turbyville Correctional Institution, there is a new program that is changing lives of inmates. A new program called CORE is designed to provide helpful skills to young offenders before they leave prison. This prison chose 11 older inmates to serve as mentors for 37 young men ages 18 to 25. We pushed their education. We pushed them getting a trade. We pushed them getting their work keys. We pushed them on trying to be a better person, um, not only for themselves, but for their family and their kids and their community. One inmate says the program has made him a better person. Helping me able to actually become more mature and get involved with older people, actually understand how, how they live and how they grow up in society. The inmates have their schedules planned out for the entire week. They learn life skills, about current events, and effective communication. Since the program started one year ago, there has only been one act of violence. Lieutenant Jacob Kipp says at other units, there are many acts of violence every year. It's made it a lot more easier for the staff. It's made it a lot safer environment for those who work in the Department of Corrections. And it also makes it easier incarceration for rehabilitation. Plus, all the inmates who have been released have not been arrested. Prison Director Brian Sterling says the program is off to a good start. I think the mentors and the folks that work here at Turbyville are going to make sure that they are given every opportunity to successfully re-enter society and, and make it safer for our communities. One inmate says the program has improved his relationship with his mother. I wasn't able to always talk to her and she, she worries about me to, she worries about me a lot, a whole lot. So now being able to talk to my mother is it's a tremendous impact on my life. Being able to tell her I love her every day, to let her know that I'm doing well and see how she's doing. For this inmate, he will be released in February and he says the program has given him hope for the future. Hopefully 10 years from now, graduating from college. Clemson, maybe. For Carolina News, I'm Tiffany Morton.